parasite, an organism that lives in or on an organism of another species, its host, and benefits by deriving nutrients at its other's expense, or its derogatory meaning, a person who habitually relies on or exploits the others and gives nothing in return. And after watching the new Korean film from director Bong Joon-ho about a lower class family wiggling their way into taking over a rich family's house, yeah, that sounds about right. And welcome to Lose Reviews, and in this episode, I'll be taking a look at Parasite. Now, I am familiar with the director who has a very, very impressive resume. Okja, Mother, Snowpiercer, and the one that I'm most familiar with, The Host. So I was really excited to see what he was coming up with. What's next for this guy? I had no expectations prior to viewing Parasite. And for the better, because it's actually hard to explain and maybe even categorize for what I just saw. But I'll start with a synopsis. It's essentially about two families, a rich one and a poor one. More emphasis on the poor one, which is the Kim family, who compared and contrasted to the rich family, the Park family. Mr. Park is head of a huge company with a pretty stay-at-home wife with a son and daughter. And also there's a housekeeper, but that's all beside the point. The Kim family live in a semi-basement apartment and take any kind of low-paying job to survive while also leeching off Wi-Fi whenever and wherever they could get it so they could stay updated on things. Ha! Did you like how I said leeching? Anyways, the son, Ki Woo Kim, he gets a chance to become an English tutor for the rich family, the Park family with the help of an old friend who suggests that he pose as a fellow university student. The old friend was already an English tutor for the Park family, but wants Ki Woo to do it and take his place, or really fake his way. Now, strangely enough, the movie manages to do several things right. Absolutely feels right. It blends a lot of genres and concepts all together, from black comedy to suspense, satire to social commentary about the rich and the poor, reflections on reliance on technology, and how easy it is to obtain information through Wi-Fi. It's a lot in a span of two plus hours. It never really felt crammed to me, but instead it flowed very smoothly and organically. And it's probably due to the masterclass hands of the writer-director Bong Joon-ho, who cited as Alfred Hitchcock as a big influence in the making of Parasite. And I didn't see it at first, but in hindsight, yeah, it's totally there. Good evening. It's such a good job of being a master of suspense that I didn't even realize he was borrowing a lot from the OG master of suspense. Even now, I am still having a hard time trying to wrap in my head what I just saw. Is it a comedy? Definitely a black comedy. Suspense, perhaps. Horror, that's probably pushing a little too much. Thriller. I don't know, maybe. Take this poster for instance. Just take a second to look at this poster. I'll make it bigger for you. Take a look at it. I mean, this picture reveals nothing about what the film, the movie is, is actually about. But at the same time, it says so much. And that's one of the reasons why I think Parasite is so brilliant. It has so much to say, and it's also a masterclass piece of cinema. This is going to be a movie that will be studied by film students and film theory for years, for years to come. And I just absolutely loved it. There are so many literal and metaphorical pieces of cinema and technical competence. It made my brain constantly switch gears. Those are the best types of cinema. And in terms of switching gears, Parasite does it so effortlessly. It's brilliant. Even when I say that the basic premise of the movie is that the son of the Kim family devises a plan to take over the house with the help of the rest of his family, I'm really not saying a lot. I'm not. This is a movie that deserves your utmost attention, and hopefully you and many others can appreciate it the way I did. But it's not just a Korean masterpiece of film, but a cinematic masterpiece of film. It shouldn't be missed, and I do think it's one of the best movies of 2019. With that being said, I'm giving us a 5 out of 5 leeches, symbiotes, centipedes, other things that represent parasites. Five of them. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you liked this review. Be sure to look down, like, and subscribe and you'll be good to go. And I will see you next time. Toodoo!